I gotta tell you, those two lifts made me running like a made her running like a dream. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher than the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sandrock after all. Well now, me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work, but we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, it gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. I think I got another way we can help each other out. You want to do some digging? Sure. All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Eufaula's Savage. Uh, Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep. And a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh... Incidents. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores. And valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's finders keepers down there, but, uh, I got a little proposition for you. Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Alright. Mission start. Let's just do it. Let's just go in. Take the crane lift to the abandoned ruins. Let's go! Layer 1. Confirm. Oh, different layers. Okay. Got the relic scanner, just like before. Oh, I'm all about it. Okay, okay. Go extract dots, secret rooms around you. Aim directly at relic, lets you lock onto that relic. Yep, got it. Alright, let's get some straight ore. Oh, wow! Look at that! There's like full-on stuff to unearth. Oh, wow. That's it. That's so interesting. Okay. What the hey? I love it! Just like with how like... It like deforms the ground and everything. Okay. What you got here? Give me that. Okay. Jetpack's looking good. <laughs> I wonder if I can go through these doors. All right, I completed my quest, which was to get a little bit of ore. Get some data disks as well. Okay, now here's my question. I believe. Oh, look at that! This is a secret room. It showed the purple. Yeah, you can see the purple dot right there. I was saying this is like a secret room area. And this is saying here's another one. Follow the path. Dude, they've updated this, or they, they, they've definitely improved this, we'll say, from the previous game. All right, that had a little bit of an issue connecting, but that's fine. Hitbox stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that took me... Oh, am I going deeper now? Is that how that works? Oh, wow. Big old chunk of copper ore. My goodness. Okay. We survived. Okay, just gonna see if there's like any... Like, this to me feels like a secret, but... You know, I'm out of energy. Um, but yeah, there wasn't a secret there, obviously, because it didn't show me the little secret purple. If there were a secret here... Yeah, see, this one... Definitely would be. Uh, okay, well, I ran out of energy, which says something. Let's go ahead, we can go to our map, and we can transport to the entrance. Wait, no, that is the entrance. Is 
Ah, leave ruins. No, leave ruins. That's what I want to do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. I got a ton of, uh, minerals. Way more than he had asked me to get. Where am I taking this ore? It's 400 meters away. It's like into town. Well, I should go to sleep first anyways. Well, y'all, I will say this. I mean, I definitely split this into a multiple episode thing. So you already know that because we're probably in like episode three at this point. I did not expect this demo to be as long as it was. I was planning on recording like eight different videos today. And instead, I'm recording just this. Um, but that's OK. Um, I'm digging it. I'm mostly just I'm I'm pre disappointed knowing at some point I'm going to have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't continue this file. We're going to have to start it over. That's fine, though. It's a pretty substantial demo. They really wanted people to get a feel for, like, what Sandrock is going to be about. Which also, I mean, it is in a very near finished state, in my opinion. At least in terms of, like, the, the, um, the engine. Oh, okay. Sandfish trap. Acquire. Okay. From Owen. Thanks. Sand fishing. Interesting. Um, can I make a chest? Need more wood, of course. Let's start doing some wood scrap. I just need to get all that. It'll take 10 minutes, it says, I think. How are you doing with water? Fine. Okay. Uh, let's go turn in this mining stuff. Yeah, see, I'm glad I waited because now he came back out this way. <laughs> I figured, I was like, why isn't he out here? Hey, thanks, builder. Guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. You're something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. Nice. Okay, let me grab this. Sandy, because I bet you there's some... Oh. Oh, I meant to not destroy the whole thing, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Make a sandwich trap. Uh, wooden stick and thick rope. So I need some more... This stuff. Hopefully no one gets mad at me for chopping a bush. Cool. I think grass is fine. I think it's just trees. What kind of junk is this? Because I think if someone was mad at me, it would have said something. It would have been like, your relationship with this person went down. Or at the very least, like, you just, you know, lost all your friends. Um, thick rope. Okay, got that. Most basic trapping cages that with bait can be used to catch fish in a quicksand pit. Ah, got it. Teach me how to sandfish. Do, 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 do. How am I doing on goals? 747. Nice. Made a lot of money. Ooh, wow. Slowing down a little bit on the recording there. That was weird. Sandfishing. Okay. Needs to be holding the sandfish trap in my hands. We have sandworms. Plenty of them. There is the trap. First, click to choose your bait. You can use better bait if you have a better fanfish trap. S sandfish trap. The bell means you got something in your trap. This is the best time to catch it. Uh, the caught fish will swim around in the quicksand pool, move the circle, and try to keep it over the swimming fish. This shows an escaping prey. The caught fish will swim around in the circle, move the circle, and try to keep it over the fish. Right, got it. When the fish is escaping, the white circle will turn red. Move the circle back over the fish to stop it from escaping. Got it. I think. Uh, yeah, sandworm. That's all I can do. So when I see the bell, that's when I click. Okay, oh, oh, there he is. Oh, I see, okay, okay, okay. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. Reel it in! 
All right. Got a Sandicuda. Well, I don't think I have enough inventory space to keep catching fish, so let me real quick, um... Clear some space? Yeah. I'll spend half my money on just getting more inventory space, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, let's catch some sandfish. All right. Neat. I like this, because it is a slightly different version of, you know, the classic, uh... Porsche gameplay of fishing. Is it going to be regular sandfish now? Since I caught the Sandicuda? There we go. I need three of these. Nice. So this will probably be a really good way of making money, just like uh, fishing is a great way of making money in Stardew and in Porsche and in every other game uh, of this ilk. Fishing is a good way to be. I keep forgetting to click. A Scorpster? I wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Keep making money. Wow, I clicked I was about to click out and then that guy showed up. I literally was like, alright, maybe we need to stop. I have a, a cat down here next to me trying to get into my lap while I'm doing this. What's up, buddy? Okay. Let's try one more. Oh, you can actually fish with the sandfish. Those are a type of bait. Okay. Did I miss? Wolf tooth pendant. Neat. I love this sand fishing. That's so neat. It's so neat. Reminds me a little bit of um, Final Fantasy... Uh, 12? 12. I've been replaying 12. Um, I, I replayed it a while ago, like um, two months ago, three months ago. And um, that has a whole bunch of stuff to do with, like, you know, the Sand Sea and stuff like that, so it's neat. Also, Slime Rancher Sand Sea. Okay, this is a, one of those Kudas, I think. Sand Kuda, because it's really fast. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I turned up my sensitivity because I just wasn't being able to catch up. My mouse was not moving fast enough. <laughs> Too far. Goodness. Another one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I just need another sandfish. There we go. Do, 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 do. That's got to be one. Come on, give it to me. Ah! <laughs> it's so funny because I know what's happening here is that, like, I'm just getting good luck, I think. I'm getting, like, the stuff that I, like, you'd be like, oh, man, you got a bunch of Sandicudas. It's probably worth money and stuff. And here, I'm just like, I just want to get the quest done, y'all. I just want to get this guy a sandfish. Gimme! Another Scorpster. I'm gonna catch so many of these. Whatever, y'all. I got sandworms for days, so, you know. Do, 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 do. This feels like another Scorpster. Started out halfway done. I feel like that's how those ones go. Ah, there we go! Okay. Got our three sandfish. Let's go give these to whomever needs those. I'm a little curious, like, what am I... I feel like I keep getting quests, probably from my, um, my mail and stuff. But I am curious what I should be working towards as the end goal of the demo or if it's just like play until you're done i don't know we'll see we'll go a little bit longer i'm assuming i will get to a quest that feels very like oh okay and now we know you know here you go owen choose items to hand in yep there you go oh because you can give them up stuff of different qualities Gotcha. Hey, you really came through. You're a lifesaver. I'll be posting more supply requests on the commission board in the future, so watch for those. Awesome. Oh, and he gave me stuff for it. Do you have a... Can I sell you stuff? Sell. Okay. Let me sell you these guys. Um, I'm gonna sell you my spear. Actually, no, I'll sell you the, the shield. Yes. Okay, yep. Take it. Thank you. Confirm. Um, 
Let's sell the Sandicudas. Keep that. Okay, I will not sell you back the food that you gave me. I feel like that would probably be a little bit of a faux pas. Arvio's request. Which one's Arvio? I feel like we saw him earlier. He runs one of the little shops. Oh, you know what? I should um, equip that. I don't think I have anything else that could fit in any of these slots now. Do 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 do. All right, Arvio, guy from the general store. Hey, Builder. I hope the desert sun isn't giving you too much trouble. It can get pretty hot here. Say, speaking of which, I may have a commission for you. No, I didn't mean to do that! Arvio's request. Sure. Excellent. I need a sunshade. Pretty sure it's standard builder's front. Once you have it built, help me install it on the oasis front as well. It really helps me out. Oh, okay, so he's the one who needs the awning. Got it. Got it. That's why they have the awning available for me to build. Okay. Basic leather, thin thread, and copper sticks. Um, I think that that's going to mean I'm going to need to build that processor thing, which makes sense. Oh, it's different. It's not the awning, but it's similar. Uh, I need sea salt, which comes from Blue Moon to Go. Uh, raw animal skin, monsters, basic leather times four. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. I need to get the salt, though, which comes from which place again? Um, sorry, I'm trying to, like, look through stuff again. Make a sun shade. Okay, and then I wanted to look at this stuff. Sea salt. By the stairs, blue moon to go. So which one's by the stairs? Was that his general store? Is that what that was called? I remember someone's thing is called by the stairs. So I think I need to buy four salts. I don't know how many I need to, to build, actually. Times four. Glad that I've got some money. Okay. I may have the ingredients. Like, it's one of those ones where it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm in that zone, I may have the ability to actually complete all this? Do 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 Yeah, that's for RVO's request, right? That's where it wants me to put the sunshine? Yeah, okay. Just making sure it's not like another thing I have to go and get. Uh, okay, how am I doing on water? Water's probably a bit of a... I might need to go buy some water from Waterman. Um, sunshade. Yeah, so damaged animal pelts into 12 raw animal skins into basic leather, which... How do I do that? Work table. Okay. So, let's see how many of that I've got. It's not under combat stuff. Basic leather. Here's what I need. I need raw animal skins. I can make one. Where do I get... I need to fight a lot of animals, huh? Guess it's time. do 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 All right, y'all. I apologize. I hear the little, uh, what you call them's scooting around. All right, I got two raw animal skins that way. I mean, the just getting the straight animal skins is going to help me quite a bit, I think. Yeah, if I can push you this way without causing your friend to get mad, that'd be great. Oh my gosh! All the pelts. Get broke. Get broke. Get dead. Cool. Give me all those things. Alright, that's gotta be enough. It's something like 12 total animal skins. I've made one leather, so it's like 8 more or something. 
So I need I need a couple more, I think. Let's just take out the rest of the Yakmals. I feel bad. Oh, he's the Alpha. We'll go to the Alpha last. Dun 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 And I've got all this other Yakmal stuff. So like I'm getting Yakmal milk and whatnot, which I'm sure I can at least sell if nothing else. Oof, that hurt. Just trying to roll. Just spamming, just spamming. Oof. Got him. Ooh, that was close. Okay, cool. Oh, and I got a knowledge point. Probably combat. No, yeah, combat. Okay, so. Melee weapon damage increase. Damage increase with long range weapons. There's long range weapons. Uh, increase by 10%, gain 20% HP when using items. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the combat damage. I think that makes sense. Okay. So, basic leather. Thin thread, copper sticks. I probably have the stuff for, like, all that. I've, oh, you know what? No, I probably don't have the copper sticks, if I think about it now, actually. <laughs> Let's get uh, more of copper scrap going. Four hours worth of time. Um, fuel. And I will definitely need to go buy some water. Um, but beyond all that, let's make the, um, the leather at least. Three of those, okay. I need one more! One more, of course I do. All right, there's some yak bowls over here. And I need to get some water, so I think we're gonna have to just go over and buy some from what's-his-face, Burgess. That should be enough. Okay. Let us make that last one. There we go. Just to get some of that stuff out of my inventory, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go buy some water from Burgess just to be a little bit uh, ahead of things. Um, and then I think I'll just go try and get some more copper scrap. Um, in the hopes that we can get some more, um, copper sticks overnight, is the idea. What is on the shore over here? Rotted wood? Ripped jeans? People just dropped their trash down here. Oh, okay. Oh, I fell in water. This is all stuff I bet I can recycle, that's my guess. Oh, don't have it yet. All right. Water shop. Do you sell water? No, where's the water then? Oh, it's down below. Ish. Cuz there's the water tower. It's this one. Okay. Okay, let's buy a couple of these. How much money do I have? I have 550, so let's let's Oh, I can only buy two. Oh, you get five per. And then now I think that maybe the cost is going to go up. That'd be interesting. Every time you buy it, it's like, okay. It's even more scarce now because we only have a limited supply, bro. I have lots of stuff I can sell, though, if I need more money. So I'm not that concerned. And we'll just go to bed. I could probably process more copper stuff if I kind of like really try to go get some more. We got one copper stick out of that. Let's just hope that one of the other ones turns into a copper stick, huh? And if it doesn't, then I'll go deal with the other problems. Oh wait, actually, real quick. Let's put water in there first just in case it's low. I don't think there's enough being processed right now that it could potentially run out of my water, but I'd rather not push that. Uh, water. Adjust. 
Confirm. There we go. Feeling good about that. Feeling good about having just water in my water tank. You know? What an interesting mechanic. And now, so then, like, that's going to be a whole thing, probably, is once you build your area big enough, and maybe you can get enough greenery in there of your own, maybe you can, like, kind of process your own water. Maybe we can be the source of water. Maybe we can bring water to sand rock, you know? Which I do think is kind of the goal. Add some greenery to this zone. 